yep, sit back and enjoy the 2014 Autumn Diesel Gala. We will, um, we will see the 08 Shunter up first. Um, yeah, with a few wagons, which are, yeah, on that, on that Shunter I've had for, yeah, just over six years now. It really doesn't feel that long. And again, these yeah, these three brown stone ore wagons here were um, were some of the first trucks that I, that I ever bought ten years ago now. I mean, yeah, the first train I had the shunter pulling was a freight. And next, yeah, let's have another look at the visiting class 108, Greater Manchester PTDMU. Again, yeah, just last month in, 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 in September did a yeah did a separate video of her running. Again before I first ran last month, again I don't think she'd run for a while but um I've smoothened up she seems um, to um, oh, well, well warmed up and smooth and smoothened up pretty well. She's yep, she's going good. Next running nose first the be our blue livered class 20 035. Now have a look at the at the twenty with the mineral wagons. Again, this is quite realistic. Nineteen uh, seventies um, style, um, small freight, um, mineral freight train here. Although, um, although with the diesels, they pro they probably didn't use as many brake lines as such. And now with a lighter four coach, yeah again, a few of the locos will be shown pulling a few different trains.
And now, here is Lima Class 40. She hasn't been at Inagala for a while. I'm running really well. There'll be a few Lima Locos in, in this gala, in, including 40. You had to quickly know how, how popular is this uh, is this view spot here getting? <laughs> and I'm running the other way. It's a, it's a it's a a pretty good view of trains here. Again, just gonna say um I've had this 40 for just over 10 years now. Can't believe it's that long. Again, she was my first ever diesel, second loco after flying Scotsman. And now here is yep, of course, the Lima Class 37. Again, when we um did the video on uh, just uh, last month. She ran pretty well, and is still running well now. She certainly is a good performer. And now she's in, you're taking part in an event already. Yep, Hymek D7 Triple O. Again, of course, um, just at the start of this month, um, saw her pulling this train by herself well, in a separate um, video. Here she is now with the lighter train. And now here is the class 25. Yep, D5182. 
We haven't seen it for a long while. And now here she is with a much longer train. And now for another one that we haven't seen for quite a while. Yep, fantastic class 50 over one centurion. Again, um, lo uh, locals like this one have taken part in, uh, yeah, yeah, um, every diesel gala um, I've done so far. But of course, you know, she certainly helps, you know, um, com you know, not only complete the collection, but um, complete fantastic galas like this. always takes part. <laughs> you know, so she's stationed here now. I was hoping to film her going in, you know, going in this direction. Um, with you know, with maybe both trains, but fortunately, um, well, I can't. Uh, it's sort of mainly due to the, it's, um, not best of designs really. It, it makes it look more realistic. Sorry, it's a bit dark, but you know what I'm talking about. The one this end seems there. a bit more sturdier, but I know this one is is not like <laughs> the one on this end is not liking coupling onto um, NEM or even full size couplings, which this coach has got here. It's a bit annoying, but. Oh, I'll just yeah. After this, um, I'll I'll just get a quick shot of a running light engine this way, and anyway, you know, because she, you know, um, have to film a fantastic local like this in both directions. Um, even if it, even if it means light engine. And, and to be honest, um, even sometimes, uh, yeah, two backman couplings together, I've had trouble with. Um, well, mainly coaches, is that well, you know, as they're on springs, uh, well, you know, you know, most of them move around, pretty flexible, but again, every now and. Every now and again, you hear one twang like a tch noise. You know, um, well, it nearly sounds like something snapping, but often um, uh, one can sit lower than another one. It's it's going to couple onto, and that can cause issues, especially the fact yeah, that yeah, the floor sort of runs a little bit. Well, if you go in this direction, a little bit uphill that way. Again, it wasn't built very well. It's terrible, and it, well, it's worse in this bit. Um, gets a bit more flat and level as you head this way, but you know, especially if it's a long train with with the Coupling sort of running into each other on as the train hits this curve, especially on the little bit sharper third radius curve, can, it can cause a bit of bother. Most of the time things are okay, but uh, it's not perfect, I'm afraid. Again, this is why I sort of um, make this bit more, this this diagonal bit bigger, so um, trying to cause as, uh, as much drag or running into each other on, on this bit. Again, showing this house, <laughs> to be honest, practically the whole house wasn't built very well, which is very unfortunate. But yeah, here she is running this direction, a uh, light engine. Yeah, and probably, well, most likely my, my favourite livery of the 50s. 
Okay, it's, it's actually been about two weeks since I filmed the last scene. Um, well, not so you notice, but things have been piling up a bit, plus, you know, a fair few videos uh, as well, uh, you, know, you know, outings of this month. But, um, yeah, now here is yet an another one which always takes part. Of course, mainly because she's so fantastic and a limited edition. Yeah, yep, class 47, Windsor Castle. Again, we haven't seen her for a while either. Yeah, I know it often looks better with the bird flying forward, but... <laughs> well, the Intercity logo bird. Oh, swallow, should I say? It's the Intercity swallow, my mistake. Although a swallow is a type of bird, isn't it? <laughs> Again, the cabin tail lights are currently off, but um, again, she always runs just, just so, so well and so smooth. This one, fantastic looker indeed. Although, you know, one rather peculiar thing is that, yeah, yeah, the little man has been put in the cap here. <laughs> Although, you know, you know, of course, it doesn't really matter, you know, go either way, but, um, but might be just a little bit better if he'd been put in this cap here with the, you know, facing the same way as the swallow logo. Well, well, the bird. Swallow bird. Also, I'm thinking, well, I'm not sure when at the moment, but one day buying some, well, a few uh, matching livery coaches for her to pull. You know, might as well. You know, since her, you know, since since her livery will match with some Mark ones in in City Swallow. I was Swallow. just going to say quickly. Um, I was hoping to film one or two of my dad's old diesels. Um, like um. Yeah. Um, at least one of his class forty sevens. But I've tried most of them, and they're really not happy at the moment. A few problems. That, you know, they're going to need looked at. Um, looks like they'll they'll have to wait until the next one. So next up is my class one five eight. Some shots and well, sort of darkness. So first. we can see her lights quite well again. And because yeah, again, she um, she ain't been out for a while. And now for a few shots in the daylight. It's a shame none of my dad's diesels could make it, but um, I mean, to be honest, the 158 here wasn't that happy at first. I uh, had to um, give her a service. I mean, her, her, wheel, her wheels were quite dirty again. Um, the fact that she was second hand. Well, she's a very good runner, but the fact that she was second hand, you know, means that her wheels, you know, c probably can get a bit more dirty than others at times. I <laughs> need to keep remembering that. Um, I mean, I, be I barely own any second hand locos, you know, so. I still keep thinking sometimes that she's well, well, you know, that I got a brand new one. I didn't, even though she still pretty much looks in good new condition, well, fairly new. 3D and use have been shown in this diesel gala. Um, first of all, you know, of course, the, the visiting class 108, the 158, and now, last but certainly not least, my class 101. Again, ridden on a fair few 101s on preserve lines, such as the North Yorkshire Moors and the Keith Lane Worth Valley. She hasn't been out for a while, but she's definitely sounding very smooth. And so we reached the end of another diesel roundup. I hope you've all yep, 
enjoyed the 2014 one. Again, you can go back um, throughout the <laughs> yeah, pretty much endless list of videos to to, to find the other ones I did um, over the past few Are years. Much more time this week. Well, uh, yeah, it was off this week for half term. Um, just yeah, just about a couple of days, maybe a week or so um, overdue from when I, I originally wanted to upload uh, this. But again, um, things have been piling up a bit, and I can see myself yeah getting yeah mega busy towards Christmas. But um, things are still planned, you know, got things planned ahead. Again, you know, um, had much more free time this week, so yeah, perfect op op opportunity to get a video like this all finished and uploaded. And I'll just finally say, um, keep an eye out for the yeah uh, um yeah the still a fair few parts of the 1000 sub special. Uh, yeah yeah, well, well 1000 sub special parts on the way. Yeah, there's been about two or three so far. Um, Yep, and there's still a fair few parts on the way. Not entirely sure how many more, but still a fair, you know, a, a, a fair few more. Still sort of plotting ahead with them. But yeah, keep, keep an eye out.